how better without eyes. A prayer of St. G. What you have done, we shall do. Who you have been, we shall be. Where you do go, we do go. In whom you shall be, in you we shall be. You, the source of our created life, the source of our redeemed life. You, our everlasting eternity. We, in the principle of your mind, lived from eternity. You, in actuality, do live in eternity. There is a system of things not seen, not even suspected, for our mind and heart do not travel that far. Yet here is a truth. There are two coexisting worlds, the Lord lying outside of minds and amid them. Of Jesus, he that has seen me has seen the Father. It was a human being we saw, and in him, the being who is beyond all things, eternal unity with God, the Word who is God. We have seen only the effects of your power, wisdom, goodness, and other attributes, and these only a microcosm of your infinite glories. The fullness that dwells in the Christ dwells also in us, though unseen. This Christ was falsely conceded to be made in time, just in the beginning before the world. Yet you are the Eternal One. The Baptist declared, He was before me. You are before all things besides. You are first, and before whom none. We who have experienced in ourselves redemption are and were the children of God, the sustainer of the natural world, the very Son of God, source and stay of the new moral creation. This inexorably, this determinately, convincingly, assuredly, decisively. You are succor in all things. In you the excellencies of God clearly shine forth, they being otherwise invisible and incomprehensible by a creature. In us there is no indication of other world senses or the wisdom of deep things. I saw not and ear heard not, and which entered not into the heart of man. Whatsoever things you prepared are freely given to us. There is only a shallow wisdom of this age. We belong to the age to come. There is a soul within each thing. The essence of things is identifiable and separate, although not pre-existing. Living and non-living things obey a single set of laws. And while world philosophy suggests we may display Samovians, that is, the capacity to co-create a reality not bound by fate or necessity. You tell us otherwise. There is a God-given primacy of sensuous terrain. All things are fundamentally alive and solicit our attention. The universe is deterministic, static in the four dimensions of space and time, and is said to be fundamentally random, but is not. The ancients cast the lot Urim and Tumen, aware that you would make known your divine will. We seek, we see in Corinth that the early Christians displayed gifts beyond and outside of themselves. These we shall have. Perhaps given them now we would misuse them, so that they are kept for the other, later, higher world. We are to live by faith. It is not our faith, nor was Abraham's. It is the faith and faithfulness of Christ given to us as you choose. By sight we have seen things wrongly, so how better without eyes? All these gifts we have imagined to create co-realities are of the other power in the world, and he defeated. No, we go by faith to dwell in the land of promise, are we blind? Let us be more blind. Be strangers here. Follow only you. Amen.